Brad Storm VO. Lightning in a mic. There we go. I might have to nice. scroll down on this one a little bit, but I can do I'm gonna do all the characters, the narrator, the truck, the dad, and the kid. Uh, four four characters. Oh boy. Yeah, why not? Okay, sure, sure. Well, well take your time with this. Uh um I, I, I didn't read the spec. I'm not, I'm not going to read along the first time. I'll just listen. Please okay. give me two takes and, and take your time. New from Matchbox. Okay, guys, I got a big job, and it's a real manpower. Rocky, reporting for duty. It's Rocky the robot truck. He knows when you load him up. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, that's heavy. And he even reacts to your voice. Dump it, Rocky. You're the boss. Shake what your mama gave you. Make some noise if you want to dance. Oh, yeah. Let's dance. Oh, yeah. Rocky the robot, Rocky the robot truck vehicle with Rocky the robot truck vehicle with over 80 phrases only from Matchbox. Nice work, buddy. New from Matchbox. Okay, guys, I got a big job, and it's a real manpower. Rocky reporting for duty. It's Rocky the robot truck. He knows when you load him up. Oh, that's heavy. And he even reacts to your voice. Dump it, Rocky. You're the boss. Shake what your mama gave you. Come on, make some noise if you want to dance. Let's dance. Oh, yeah. Rocky the robot, Rocky the robot truck vehicle with over 80 phrases, only from Matchbox. Nice work, nice work, buddy. <laughs> it's tough uh, yeah, doing four I mean, characters at once. I, I did uh, go over this a couple of times, but yeah. yeah. Oh, good for you. I I don't think I've ever attempted to do a four-person, four-character script ever. So so kudos to you for doing that. Um, I, I understand when you're reading an audiobook, oftentimes there are multiple characters that you have to kind of go back and forth between. Yeah. But, but Brad, what you just did, I've actually never tried that. I don't know that I do as good as, as you did. I, I need to rehearse it a bunch. So well done. I, you know, and the narrator was not my biggest focus on that because I feel like with these kind of commercial spots, because I looked this up on YouTube and found the transcripts from it. So I think that voice for the, you know, kid toys, I think that's my niche. Okay. I I, that's where I belong. Okay. I think I got that voice, that uplifted, a powerful, you know, hey, that high, little higher pitched voice that gets the kids like excited. So true. Um, uh, Brad, you and I have also been uh, in, in numerous classes together. And, and one of the things I notice about in your performances, and you're getting better at this, you'll, you'll say a line and you'll do, you'll do a correction. And mm -hmm. then you'll say it, you'll actually say it even better. You'll make this creative adjustment in your head and you'll do another take. And, and the adjustment that you made is, is so much better than the line that you just said three seconds ago. Yeah. And, and I love seeing that from you. You, you do this regularly now. Um, I, yeah. I enjoy that. I um, think my, my biggest flaw with me, and I don't like to focus on the flaws, but just slowing it down and relaxing a little bit more. And just, uh, you know, because when I practice this, right, before I get on here, I'm calm and relaxed. Something about like getting in this class pumps me up or whatever. Okay. And uh, I got to calm down. So. Brad, I want to, I want to show you something that exactly to your point, what happened to me last night, I was, I was recording an order and um, I, I didn't turn on the microphone. I just, I, I just sat here and, and I, I'm, the mic usually stays here. Even at the end of the day, when I'm done, I don't, I don't roll it away like that. It just stays here. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I didn't press record. I just said it out loud and I noticed, Oh, I like the way this, this sounds. I'm, it sounds comfortable. And then I pushed record and then I went like in my head, something changes. I, I still go right. into, I'm, I'm announcing now, or I'm on, I'm recording now. And, and it's this mental thing that I have that, that you're also speaking of. So we, we both have that and it's just cracking our individual codes and, and learning how we, each of us work. Um, Brad, I want you to do just the narrator lines. Okay. I want, I, so take it from the top and so stay in the same, uh, because in my opinion, I love what you just did. Now I want to focus on each character at a time. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and give me, I think there are only four narrator lines and, yeah. and at your own pace, please. New from Matchbox. 
It's Rocky the robot truck. He knows when you load him up. And he even reacts to your voice. Rocky the robot truck ve Rocky the robot truck vehicle with over 80 phrases. Rocky the robot truck vehicle with over 80 phrases only from Matchbox. Yeah. yeah. Only from Matchbox. No, I think well, yeah. I think I, mean, I would still keep the energy up. Yeah, cuz the the kid commercials I feel like they're different. You know, okay. a lot of the you, uh, going you go up a lot more than you do the downs, right? Cuz the uh, kids are all excited most You're of the right. Time with toys. That's uh, and and you and it's and we need to keep their attention. So it tends to be a lot of uh, high energy, N not not a lot of ending on downs. Um, but but yes, to your point, you're right. You have to maintain that energy, especially if you're. I mean, it's a kids commercial. Uh, I I had Matchbox to, uh, cars as a kid, so I enjoyed those commercials as well. Uh, Brad, give me the same thing, narrator. Just same thing. What you did, I want to. I I feel like your next take will be even better. New from Matchbox. It's Rocky the robot truck. He knows when you load him up. And he even reacts to your voice. Rocky the robot truck vehicle with over 80 phrases, only from Matchbox. Nice, good, good. I'm looking at the next character. Dad, it looks like dad only has one. He only one. has one line. Yeah, oh, give me dad's line. Here we go, when you're ready. Oh, and oh, by the way, it says stretch out it and it's a real Well, that's man. what I put in there. I put that oh, in okay, there. Oh, okay. That's you. Yeah, okay. I, it's a, and it's a real manpower. That's what, more, that's what I'm thinking in my mind. So. Sure. Go ahead and give me the deadline, please, when you're ready. Okay, guys. I got a big job and it's a real manpower. Yeah, once more. Okay, guys. Got a big job and it's a real manpower. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try this physicality with you. Uh, can you, can you do this as, as you're reading? Like, mm, we're getting up. Yeah. Get ready. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Got a big job and it's a real manpower. <laughs> I wanted to just put a little okay, more animation. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys. There's, there's nothing wrong with me. It feels over the top, yeah. but yeah. it's, it's, it's like animation work and it's a kid's commercial. So there's nothing wrong with Okay. With, yeah. I could, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. The producer will always dial you down if you're too, if you're too much, they'll say, okay, bring it down a bit. But yeah, I like the, uh, the larger uh, energy that you have for there. Um, all right. Let's do Rocky's voice. Rocky reporting for duty. Oh, that's heavy. You're the boss. Shake what your mama gave you. Make some noise. Make some noise. If you want to dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah the oh, yeah line reminds me of the Kool-Aid guy. Oh, yeah. That, that's where my, <laughs> probably where I got it from. Yeah. And uh, as a note, uh, in today's climate, I don't know that, that, that Rocky would say, shake what your mama gave you. I, think that might, <laughs> I mean, I'm not, that might seem a little edgy for a kid script, yeah. but we'll, we'll go with it. But I just, I know. That's what it said was, in the script. Yeah. That, yeah. that probably yeah. wouldn't air these days. It might uh, be a little, yeah. too, a little edgy. Like what um, your mama gave you. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Brad, let's do it again. Same character. I want you to even dial it up even more. Okay. Um, uh, he, he is, uh, Rocky the Truck is a, uh, is a character. He, he speaks with affect. He, he's, he's a personality. So uh, give me, go ahead and uh, give me over the top with that, please. Rocky, report him for duty. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. You're the boss. Shake what your mama gave you. Make some noise if you want to dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Brad, you've done this a couple times. Is, is, I should ask, is this a real commercial? Did yeah, you yeah, I pulled it off YouTube. Oh, okay, so it exists. So yeah, um, I got the transcripts I'm, and everything for it. I'm yeah. curious if, if this was over 10 years ago. But Probably. my question to you is when he says, uh, uh, make some noise if you want to dance, Does in the original, is Rocky actually singing? Like no. That? no. Okay. I, I like that you did that. When you first did that, I thought, because you kind of went into a pseudo James Brown kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. and, and I thought, yeah. oh, I, I like the singing. And so that's another wonderful creative choice that you did that I appreciate. Well, the truck moves around and it does all this stuff, so. Yeah. 
Oh, I like that. That'd be cool. Um, hey, let's do the kid's voice since it's that, that's the fourth okay. character. So it looks like he's only got two lines, maybe three lines? Three lines. Let me see here. The kid goes, dump it, Rocky. Let's dance. Nice work, buddy. Good. All right. So the kid's even saying dance. So, yeah. so that, that kind of informs that delivery. Um, I want to mention this to you that uh, about 15 years ago, I saw a video, and it's also on YouTube, of, uh, of Matt and Trey from South Park, and they were producing the, uh, the voices. Mm-hmm. And, and they use pitch shift on their voices. I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll make their voice small like you did, but then they'll actually help it a little bit and put some pitch shift on there. So it's, you're allowed to do that. You know, uh, yeah. I used to think, well, geez, if I can't do that voice, then maybe I shouldn't do it. But here are two guys who have made a living at it. And um, so if, if you were to do the kid voice, I would have you do it the way you did it. And I would probably pitch it up maybe uh, uh, three, three semitones. Totally makes to, sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Brad, wrapping up, uh, give me all four characters again from the top. One last okay. take when you're ready. Right. New from Matchbox. Okay, guy. Okay, guys. Got a big job, and it's a real manpower. Rocky reporting for duty. It's Rocky the robot truck. He knows when you load him up. Oh, that's heavy. And he even reacts to your voice. Dump it, Rocky. You're the boss. Shake what your mama gave you. Make some noise if you want to dance. Let's dance. Oh, yeah. Rocky the robot, Rocky the robot truck vehicle with over 80 phrases only from Matchbox. Nice work, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Brad. Yeah, nice. I heard something today in your voice I've never heard before. You have, and this is probably from your ring announcing, but um, when you go, make some noise, I can't even do it. You want a day? You have a little bit of that vocal fry go, yeah. I, I used to sing yet. metal in a band too. Oh, so. well, that helps. But yeah. I've never heard you sound like that before. So that's yeah, pretty man. cool. Nice. Nice job, Brad. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.